do some more DIY projects maybe to upcycle all of my stuff that I have so I'm trying to find oh you guys I store a lot of crap well I don't call them crap I call them treasures because they often turn out to come in handy so there's this new trend I want to incorporate into my wardrobe. The shoulder pad t-shirt trend is all the rage right now. So I want to show you how you can get the look for less. I love 1980s style so I remembered taking out a shoulder pad from one of my items to upcycle it um, a long time ago so today I'm going to retrieve it from my pile of stuff yeah I have tons of stuff that I save so that whenever I want to upcycle stuff I can do so so yeah That's good. So I'm um, using this t-shirt, one of my son's t-shirts. I love this one. I love the detail on it. This jean piece of fabric. It's a really nice detail. Whew, guys, it's a map of Florida. Oh my God. Perception is everything, guys. So let's get on to the pimping of this t-shirt which I would have to keep after this because this is definitely feminizing <laughs> the t-shirt a bit. So for me it's an upcycling DIY and I like to provide these inspirations for you to go look into your closet see what you could find if you prefer a white t-shirt I am sure that you probably have a white t-shirt lying around somewhere maybe your husband's your boyfriend's so go grab one and let's do this together all you need is a needle a thread scissors your fingers and the shoulder pads the shoulder pads you can get at any thrift store if you don't have one in your house and right now I know most thrift stores are closed so maybe you can order some online or wait until lockdown is over so this is a very simple DIY guys a very easy way to pimp your t-shirt to upcycle it and really give it new life just put some life into it and elevate it a bit if you think for you this would be an upgrade definitely go for it it's not rocket science at all because I am not a rocket science kind of girl <laughs> all you simply need to do is to place the shoulder pad at the location where you want the most drama for me I need it very close to the end of the stitching of the actual shoulder so very close to the sleeve itself because I am actually holding on to the sleeve I want for it to remain a very versatile t-shirt where I could wear it sleeveless by pushing it under or I can wear it with the sleeve so of course coming up I'll be showing you a lookbook of how I pair it but for now let's get these shoulder pads on as quickly as we could and let's do this and you'll be happy to note that this doesn't take a lot of time at all it's 10 minutes the most if not five to be honest some people would just simply do a quick stitch in the middle of the shoulder pad and just leave it like that for me I like to go to both ends and seal it right there because yeah when 
it's washing, I think it would provide more security. So you just repeat that throughout and you're good. My next step is to iron this t-shirt because it has been in a garbage bag ready for donation or maybe for some future wearing but I've decided to take it out and now I am ironing it and it's actually in very good shape as you can see so let's get this all cute and ready and I would be styling it for you and of course the steam from the iron really gets into the lens of the camera so yeah <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> and now onto the lookbook I really hope you find inspiration from these looks and of course I'll be leaving you little sustainable tips and tricks on the fabrics of these pieces this pants you guys know it pretty well you have seen it from one of my lockdown quarantine office looks you can check out this video for the material details of the pants but the shirt is of course it's a hundred percent cotton and cotton is among the list of natural fibers I often encourage others to buy and for several reasons as listed here it's durable it's breathable it's it's amazing and for those who have concerns about organic as well as conventional cotton this is all you need to know so this is the before of the t-shirt without the shoulder pads and this is the result of our upgrade guys this is how we pimp stuff on this channel I really love the outcome of this piece and as you can see I'm wearing it sleeveless with this low waist pants it's really not a favorite of mine but just just deal with it so if you're conscious of your arms definitely opt for wearing it down with the sleeve but for now I just wanted to show the two options that you have to wear the t-shirt I love it and I actually love pairing it both casually like as with this jeans piece and you could dress this piece up as well as I would show you in the upcoming clips Sorry to interrupt guys but just a quick note hi guys if you just so happen to just click on my video you are new please click the red subscribe button so here they are guys if you click on these buttons you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when I post new videos and most importantly guys it's free thank you so much for subscribing love ya let's get back to the video I often like to give the age of the items that I'm wearing. The top slash t-shirt from my son's closet. I don't really know the age and he's not around right now for me to ask. But it has been sitting in the garbage bag for over six years now. So I know he bought it around that period of time. The jeans is a piece from Zara that I got about three years ago or 2.5 years ago now and it's also a hundred percent cotton it's in my perfect style I love myself a high-waisted piece of item so it definitely had me at high-waisted and yes I know about the hair a bit dry but you know we are in quarantine and I'm not going anywhere I'm just showing you quarantine upcycling tips so ignore the hair a bit <laughs> so with that said here I am wearing the t-shirt with the sleeves down and 
I really do love it this way. I actually think it looks very, very chic this way. So I love it. I think either options are great. What, whatever your vibe is, whatever your style is. And that is the reason why I often emphasize fabric, fit and style as my current mantra because it's definitely what I live by. But I try to provide options for my audience. So if you love it sleeveless or if you love wearing it as a sleeve, absolutely go for it. And of course, this is another another high-waisted piece that I have in my closet. And this pants is from Soka. 15 I think it's yeah it's been a while in my closet and it's also from Zara and it's a hundred percent viscose guys viscose is a semi synthetic fiber which means that it was made from wood pulp or cellulose fibers but because it was treated with many chemicals, it's considered a semi-synthetic fiber. It often feels like cotton and is very often mistaken for cotton. I do like viscose because of its many properties. While it's semi-synthetic, it's also biodegradable. So I love that particular quality about it. Including the fact that it's also breathable and it just embodies some of the same qualities of cotton but it's a low-cost material companies often abuse it and with the dying of viscose comes many environmental issues that would be discussed at some point this piece though oh i i'm i am so proud of this piece this is a pants i took from one of my nephew's closet when i was visiting my country in the caribbean i found it at home yeah it's high-waisted so guys nothing else needs to be said it's a hundred percent cotton khaki very sturdy so I really wanted to incorporate it into my closet. Interestingly, it turns out to be part of the summer, spring, slouchy trousers trend. And I was really excited because I have a couple of these trends in my closet. But I must admit, it's not for everybody, but I hope you are inspired.